Warren Buffett is arguably the greatest investor of all time, and it's no secret that he likes dividend stocks. His Berkshire Hathaway portfolio is chock full of them. His company, Berkshire Hathaway, has held Coca-Cola in its portfolio since the late 80s. But other than having benefited from the beverage giant's rising share price over the decades, Berkshire continues to collect dividends from the investment, and the amount might surprise you. Berkshire holds 400 million shares of Coca-Cola, and in 2022, it earned $704 million in dividends from the company. This figure caught the attention of Elon Musk, who tweeted, Berkshire Hathaway high on Coke. Of course, Warren Buffett has made billions from his investments in Coca-Cola, but Coca-Cola isn't the only company that Buffett collects dividends from. There are others that yield more profits to the investor, so ensure you stick around to the end to know which stocks held by Buffett's secret portfolio rake in $4.84 billion in annual dividend income. For decades, seasoned investors have known that dividend-paying stocks can make or break their portfolios. Earlier generations of investors favored dividend investing, and while those earlier generations enjoyed generally higher yields than those available today, there are still plenty of benefits to a dividend investing strategy. Buying stocks of companies that pay consistent dividends is one of the most effective ways to invest. And because returns seem slow and steady, some might even call dividend investing boring. But steady returns are never boring. The best part? With dividend investing, there's no need to worry about the stock market's ups and downs. The S&P 500 tumbled 19.4% in 2022, but investors who held high-quality dividend stocks in their portfolios still got paid. If you want to know the power of dividend investing, Warren Buffett is the perfect example. Warren Buffett has certainly not been shy about owning shares of dividend-paying stocks, as over half of Berkshire's holdings pay a dividend, and several of them have yields near 4% or higher. The energy stock Chevron has been aggressively bought by Warren Buffett and his team over the past two years. So far, Chevron yields $964,107,966 in annual dividend income. And with one more boost, Buffett's company could be looking at a cool $1 billion in annual dividends. Warren Buffett's seemingly newfound love for energy stocks looks to be a bet that crude oil and natural gas prices will remain above their historic norms. For that to happen, disruptions to the energy supply chain would need to persist. Russia's invasion of Ukraine and underinvestment in drilling and exploration by global energy majors should constrain the worldwide supply of energy commodities and provide some degree of upward lift on spot prices. Another of Warren Buffett's high-yield dividends is his stock with Bank of America, which yields $909 million in annual dividend income. This likely won't come as a surprise to anyone who follows Berkshire Hathaway's buying and selling activity, but Warren Buffett and his investment team love bank stocks. In particular, they've really piled into Bank of America. Buffett's fascination with bank stocks has to do with their ability to take advantage of long-winded periods of economic expansion. As loans and deposits grow, so does the bottom line for most banks. In turn, this often leads to a growing dividend and a hearty share buyback program. During bull markets, it's not uncommon for Bank of America to return $20 billion to $25 billion annually to its shareholders in the form of dividends and share repurchases. The craze for energy stocks has been on the rise, and Warren Buffett and his investing lieutenants, Todd Combs and Ted Weschler, are always on the lookout. Last year, they oversaw the purchase of more than 194 million shares of Occidental Petroleum. While these common shares are netting Berkshire Hathaway $101 million in yearly dividend income, it's the $10 billion invested in Occidental Preferred Stock, yielding 8%, which is providing the bulk of income from this company. $800 million annually. So, in total, Occidental Petroleum yields $901,062,858 in annual dividend income to Berkshire Hathaway. While Occidental Petroleum's catalysts are similar to Chevron's, there are a few key differences. Even though both energy companies are integrated and therefore have downstream assets they can rely on to hedge a decline in the price of crude oil, Occidental's revenue is more heavily weighted to high-margin drilling than Chevron's. The other difference can be found in Occidental's balance sheet. 
Normally, the Oracle of Omaha and his team avoid heavily indebted businesses, even though Occidental has reduced its net debt by $15 billion since the end of March 2021, it's still sitting on $20.5 billion in net debt. It'll need oil prices to remain elevated to continue chipping away at its burdensome debt. Another big-time income producer that should come as absolutely no surprise to most investors is tech stock Apple. Apple is Berkshire Hathaway's largest holding by a considerable amount and is on track to provide $842 million in dividend income this year. Apple is arguably the most valuable brand in the world. In particular, since introducing 5G-capable versions of its iPhone in late 2020, Apple has accounted for around 50% of the U.S. smartphone market share. It's innovations like these that keep customers loyal to the brand and generate mountains of operating cash flow. But Apple's true lure, at least in the eyes of Warren Buffett, might just be its unsurpassed capital return program. Aside from doling out one of the largest nominal dollar dividends among publicly traded companies, Apple has repurchased $554 billion worth of its common stock in a span of 10 years. Buying back that much stock has provided a nice lift to Apple's earnings per share. Warren Buffett and his team are also raking in a boatload of annual dividend income from beverage stock Coca-Cola. Coke is Berkshire Hathaway's longest-held stock since 1988, and it'll likely be increasing its base annual payout for the 61st consecutive year in 2023. Berkshire holds 400 million shares of Coca-Cola, and in the past year, it earned $704 million in dividends from the company. The biggest competitive edge working in Coca-Cola's favor is its geographic diversity. It holds a 14% share of all commercial beverages in developed countries, which leads to strong pricing power and predictable cash flow. Meanwhile, Coke maintains a 6% share of all commercial beverages in emerging markets and is able to take advantage of higher organic growth rates in these regions. With the exception of North Korea, Cuba, and Russia, Coca-Cola products are available for sale in every other country right now. Additionally, Coca-Cola's marketing has been on point for decades, whether it's using social media to connect with young adults or leaning on its holiday tie-ins to captivate a more mature audience. Coca-Cola is one of the few brands that can easily transcend generational gaps and engage with consumers. The sixth company that's allowing Warren Buffett to rake in a collective $4.84 billion in annual dividend income is consumer staples stock Kraft Heinz. The company behind such brands as Kraft, Heinz, Cool Whip, Kool-Aid, and Oscar Mayer helps Berkshire Hathaway collect $521 million in yearly income. On the one hand, Kraft Heinz has been a prime beneficiary of the COVID-19 pandemic. With people choosing to eat at home more often, the company's vast assortment of prepackaged meals, snacks, and condiments has helped its pricing power. Since food is a basic necessity in any economic environment, cash flow for a consumer staples giant like Kraft Heinz tends to be relatively predictable. However, Kraft Heinz is also one of Berkshire Hathaway's riskiest and possibly worst investments. Kraft Heinz's balance sheet is weighed down by debt and goodwill, which leaves it little flexibility to reignite interest in its brands. Warren Buffett has evolved as an investor since launching his original partnership in 1956. Back then, his portfolio was much smaller in size and allowed him to pursue the greatest inefficiencies he could find in the market, almost regardless of the stock's market cap. He focused intensely on finding stocks trading at cheap valuations. Now, he is known as the greatest investor who ever lived. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, let us know by giving it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to our channel to watch more interesting and entertaining videos like this one.